Okay, hello everybody and welcome back again. This is the last time that I'm going to try to beat this boss on the camera. If I'm unsuccessful this time, I will do it off screen. Because you guys do not need to watch me try to beat this guy some thousand times. I will tell you though, finally got smart. And instead of getting a bunch of, um, instead of getting, okay, can we just, instead of getting a bunch of, um, what do you call it? Instead of getting a bunch of, uh, what do you call it? Instead of getting a bunch of potions, guess what I did? I got berries. Because why the heck was I not getting berries before? So, I'm very likely going to need them very soon. Because I'm very likely to get when I got here. But, uh, oh my gosh. But at least I can uh, get revived twice before. <laughs> time I hit the goddamn lens of truth. I need to quit doing that. Like, Jesus Christ. This should not be that big hurt. I'm telling you right now. Oh, 
Come on, stop fucking punching me. Jesus Christ. just going to beat him off camera. Um, I don't know. This is only a five minute video right now and lord knows how long it's going to take me and I actually have to go to work like in less than an hour. So I don't know. I guess I'm gonna for the rest of this video I'm just gonna go buy some fairies and you guys can just join me on that quest because I don't think that I'm going to be able to um, like beat him and get things done in less than an hour because I have to get ready for work. So, and I actually don't, oh yeah, I guess I do have enough, uh, enough money to go get two fairies. So, you guys can come with me on my little fairy quest. I can't believe I didn't realize last time that um, I had enough, or no, not that I had enough, that um, there were fairies right about that guy because I definitely looked up fairies. At least this time I made it way further with that guy. My problem is just that I think I just need to keep the lens of truth on the whole time that I do it. Because that's the biggest problem that I'm having here is like for whatever reason it's like I don't I don't recognize that um no, no, that's not where you go. Like for whatever reason when I'm like playing, it's like I don't I cannot for the life of me get the lens of truth and um the arrow is like straight. Like I'm constantly trying to turn on the lens of truth and instead I'm hitting my bow and arrow and I'm turning off the lens of truth when I need my arrow. It's, it's really frustrating and I really need to quit doing that. So I'm going to run over the potion shop real quick and buy two more fairies for my jars. And I'm going to try it again, but like I said, this time I will do it um, off camera because there's no reason for you guys to have to sit and watch me fight that guy 37 times. If I didn't have to go through the entire effing temple every single time. If there was like a quick little warp to get you to the boss, alright, cool. But every single time you have to go through the whole entire temple, and for whatever reason, this particular part right here is just insanely hard for me. Like it takes me 50 tries to get just across that stupid tongue. Like, I cannot get, get it straight to save my life. I, I don't understand why. For some reason, when I'm not recording, I just fly over that thing like it's really, like it's nothing. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes I literally fall 50 times before I can get across, but I just, 
I can't wrap my brain around why I have so much trouble just with this one stupid little part. It's like I cannot line it up right. And it's just, oh, it's so beyond frustrating. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank goodness. Why? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. Part is not fun. Like, and it just, it's so tedious. It takes so long to get here, and there's just so much to it. Like, oh my goodness. I have to go through this much just to get to the stupid boss. I need those, uh, warp jars if you, uh, that they have in Wind Waker. Or, yeah, Wind Waker. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm over there. I just, I need to, like, go slower, you know? Like, I'm in such a rush to hurry to get it done that, like, I'll try to jump off stuff before it's ready or I'll forget to put on my hover boots or, uh, you know. I just, I need to chill with that and just, just do it, you know what I mean? Like, just get there, get it done. Okay. But, like, every time you get on the boat, there's a long boat animation, and it makes you, okay, just, and, uh, it makes you look through the whole boat animation every time, and, you know, just, come on. Is any of that necessary? No. No, it's not. But this time I'm just gonna take it like, oh. Take my time. Except for that. <laughs> yes, I know. Watch for the monsters that hang from the ceiling. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody's even going to watch this video. And if you do watch this video, I don't know if you're going to want to see the, uh, you know, see me do this part of the time. I don't know if you're going to want to see me watch the boss many times. I don't know. I'm not that great with YouTube. You know, I mean, clearly. My videos aren't even edited because I cannot figure out how to work any of the editing programs. And, like, the one editing program that I finally found it was decent, it was free, because I don't have the money to pay for an editor right now or an editing program. Um, the one that I finally found that I was like, oh, okay, this one might work. Yeah, the, um, the, the like, files that, that this recording, like, generates or whatever. Nope, it doesn't accept those. And I'm sure that there's probably a way to like fix that or whatever, but I don't know what it is. And I can't justify spending a bunch of money on a super expensive editing program that I might not even know how to use. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I can't. And, uh, Matthew offered to edit my videos for me, but he's in college. He's got his own YouTube channel that he needs to create stuff for and edit for. I'm not going to ask him to also edit my videos, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's a lot. He's, he's trying to get through his first semester of college, or actually just finished his first semester. No, next week is the end of his first semester. Yeah, so he's trying to get through his first semester of college. He's, you know, got, you know, got to make time for his friends. Not that he can really see friends right now, but you know, he's talking to his friends, playing with his friends online, whatever. Um. And then, uh, you know, doing his own YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff. I just, I'm not going to pile editing his mother's videos on half that, so. So yeah, that's, uh, but anyway, I did, um, I'm sure you guys have noticed, well, if anybody's even watching these videos, I'm sure you've noticed that the last two videos, um, uh, actually have thumbnails. They're not great, but they're thumbnails because I learned how to make thumbnails. And I'm very proud of myself. So, at least I can do that. So, yeah, this is um, the last video that I'm gonna have time to record today. So, I die at the boss. This time around, I'm just gonna have to end it for the night because, um, like I said, I have to get ready for work pretty soon. It is 6.59, so it's, uh, or, uh, 6.59, I never said we have 5.59, 6 o'clock, I think, and I leave for work at about 6.45 when I'm walking, which I am today, so I will definitely have to, uh, definitely have to leave pretty soon. Nope. Okay, why does it sometimes not blow me across the thing? I don't get it. So Earlier I was trying to do this and I was like right there, like that spot where um, 
that spot where it just blew me. And my sister called. And I wasn't paying any attention. And that flame just killed me. And I was so mad because of course, you know, that starts me like that from the very beginning. Like, that's the part with this that just... If I could change anything, like, I love this game. Ocarina of Time is one of my favorites. But if I could change anything about this game, that would 100% let go. Stop. That would 100% be it. Because it needs to not, like, you, you need a walkway. Or, like, a, yeah, like a, a point where you can easily get back to the boss in the Shadow Temple. Like, there's, there's no possible way to, you know what I mean? I know that I purposely, like, made something super easy, and I guess I could go back and watch a video, uh, the video to see, but I don't even remember which video it was in, so, I guess if I don't beat the boss this time around, maybe later on tonight I'll watch my video back and see, but I don't remember what video it was in that I even did the Song of Scarecrows. I just remember intentionally, um, doing it as easy as I could, so that it would, um, so that I would remember it, but I don't know what I did. I don't remember it's not good enough for that kind of nonsense. I really wish you could just give just a heart. Even just like one stupid heart it would be so nice on a skeleton. But no. And of course they do not. They just kill me more. Okay. I will say, I am very glad that, um, I have the, uh, the, what am I very glad that I have? Oh, the double magic bar, because this time around, I'm just going to leave the left and turn on the whole entire time. Because quite frankly, I am over it. Just, just. Where's the damn thing? Okay, well, I'm good for your patience and following me as I... Try one last time to beat this stupid boss. Alright, gotta put my hover boots back on. Gosh, sometimes I hate how much these hover boots slide around. Like, what if I would have just dropped right off the edge right there? Oi! Alright. Yes, I know. Okay, guys. Oh, hey, you know what would be super helpful? Come on, come on, 
Sages, who are our next sage? Oh, Impa, 
one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shepherd Temple. Oh, okay, hi, Impa. How are you? We Sheikah have served the loyalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. Thanks, Impa. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, will seal up the evil king and return to his side. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. look out for the princess. I don't know where the princess is, but sure. I'll do my best. Alright, guys. Well, look at that. The only thing that kind of sucks is if I were to save right now, I'd have to keep that guy all over again. So instead, I have to, like, literally go die. But I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tomorrow we will, uh, I don't know what we'll do, actually. Whatever needs to be done next, I guess. Yeah, give me one second. I'm just going to uh, end this video. Alright, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to go up to Death Mountain real quick and jump off so I can die. Um, oops, that's not me. That's not me at all. Where's that mountain? Did I just completely passed for that mountain? I sure did. Um, anyway, this video is super long. It's almost a half hour long. But thank you so much for um, bearing with me while I beat that stupid, awful shadow temple that I hate. And we're going to see what's up next after this. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave it a like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment Larry. You know, all that stuff. I'm just gonna let the spider kill me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!